I have with me two gentlemen who participated very closely in the Lifelong Communities nine-day workshop, and I'm so pleased to welcome former Governor Roy Barnes and Fayetteville Mayor Ken Steele to talk about this fascinating issue. I know you all are excited about the concept and moving forward with it, but let's set the stage a little bit. How is the population changing in Metro Atlanta? Take that one. Well, I think as you go through your daily routine and just look about you, it's very obvious that we have an aging population. By 2030, it's estimated that uh, over 30% of the Metro Atlanta population is going to be senior or 55 plus. Uh, my particular community, we've just about reached that already as I look through my neighborhood and through the community, uh, we're already above 20%. Look at the, of our the older adult population, that 85 plus, which is yeah. also rapidly, rapidly growing. What impact does that have on the city? Well, <coughs> it has a great impact. You have a, a need and a necessity to be close to health care, but they don't want to feel that they're isolated or segregated or put in a place uh, to die. And so that's the reason this whole idea of lifelong communities where they are integrated into young families, services, and themselves whether they be 55 or 85, uh, is what they want because they don't want to be in a care or a skilled care facility. You say integrated, uh, a knitted community. In your own words, Ken, what is a lifelong community? Well, a lifelong community, I can uh, personally relate to it quite frankly, having been in my home and community for 30 to 40 years. Mm -hmm. You raise a family, you would then like to enjoy your family if they're still in the local area and continue to live in your community where all your, your roots are, your friends are, your uh, volunteer organizations that you've participated in. Everything so you know. Everything you know is right there. What? Yeah. But your needs may change. Uh, so you, you have a large uh, yard that needs ca uh, care and tending. You may want a small yard, mm -hmm. uh, but you still don't want to go off to an apartment or to a nursing home or something like that. So you, you look and the, the lifelong community gives you the stages of life uh, and you can stay in that same community uh, you know, until the end of life. Until you pass. Recently the ARC pulled together this enormous workshop earlier in the year and they brought in experts from across the board aging, healthcare, transportation, put everybody in a room for several days with the idea that roll up our sleeves and figure out what these lifelong communities look like. Both of you participated in your own words, how was it? Fascinating, exciting. Uh, you know, we have experts in transportation, we have experts in housing, we have experts in health care that we brought together, but now they're all working together for a common goal to make these integrated lifelong communities. Let and that's the fascinating part about it. All. all of these sites, there were five sites chosen. I believe there was over 100 suggested, but there were five sites chosen, and uh, they were in developed areas that were to be redeveloped. In other words, not like you're going out to an exurban area and building a whole new city. This is, all right, we've got this older neighborhood here. It's changed, it's mature, the children have gone. How can we redevelop this area and be a stimulus, uh, an incentive to a whole area of redevelopment? And that's what was exciting to, for me, and of course, it was more exciting for me because it was my old home place. Sure. I mean, that, that I- I should point out, you were one of the first to call. When you I heard was, that the ARC was going to do this workshop, you were the first to pick I up I was, the call. and this is, uh, I called and said I'd like to be considered, and Cobb County sponsored me, and uh, we ended up being one of the five. One of the five, as did Fayetteville. Correct. Yeah. Why were you so excited to bring this lifelong community concept to Fayetteville? Well, I think every small community in Georgia, and we're relatively small, 16, 16,500. Uh, we have a downtown, historic downtown that like we would like to preserve, but in order to, for a downtown to be viable, you have to have a density of population. And this is a 37 acre site that as the crow flies, is just 400 yards from the courthouse square. So this is an ideal location for a lifelong community type development. We initially thought of it as uh, a senior development. It was zoned single or single family half acre lots within mm -hmm. 400 yards of Courthouse Square, which is probably inappropriate at this point in time yes. <laughs> in our existence. But uh, we went beyond just a senior development into the lifelong concept, integrating various age groups uh, within the development. It just it's become very exciting with connectivity, and that's one of the great things that we see about the connectivity of the project between the 37 acres and the rest of the community, so that our seniors can get around. Was there anything surprising 
that you learned through this workshop? Well, I was surprised with the level of enthusiasm and excitement that it generated. I know the property owners, of course, are private property owners within Fayetteville, and uh, I was just uh, taken aback by the enthusiasm and excitement that they expressed uh, for the project. Where are we in the timeline, and, and what are some of the hurdles you're going to face in potentially implementing these concepts? Well, our timeline is pro probably ahead of uh, some of the other projects in that we have a landowner development ready ready to go forward. So we'll take the final project and we'll sit from uh, DPZ, we'll sit down with uh, our planning department and the, the property owner, et cetera, and adjust to our community as to what would fit best in and what is possible. So I would actually look for ours to start construction within a year. In order for it to be successful, you need people. Need people. So these types of developments, a little more dense but lifelong type communities, will bring vitality to downtown communities. So I can see this being beneficial throughout the state of Georgia and the entire South. Mayor Steele, Governor Barnes, a pleasure Thank to you. have you on the show. Thank you very pleasure much. Pleasure to be with you. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Atlanta Regional Commission's Shape of Things to Come. For more information about crafting quality communities in the Atlanta region and other issues affecting our quality of life, please visit atlantaregional.com. Thank you for watching. See you next time.